Hi, my name is Christy Carrolls. I'm a solutions engineer with McAfee, and today we'll be doing a demonstration about McAfee's dynamic endpoint threat defense utilizing ENS, and how we have integration in with the AMC, which is the anti-malware protections that are built directly in. This integration with AMC allows endpoint security to see the entire content buffer of a running script, whether it's running in PowerShell, VBScript, or JavaScript. And we'll demonstrate that we can see this even when it's obfuscated. Hope you enjoy the video. In this demo, we're going to show how endpoint security integration with AMC, or the anti-malware integration, by executing a variety of PowerShell script commands, showing nefarious as well as benign to demonstrate endpoint security's ability to differentiate the good from bad, right? So uh, scripts aren't always bad. Sometimes we need PowerShell. So we will show the integration of AMC to allow endpoint security to see the entire contents of a buffer running um, the script, whether it's running in PowerShell, VBScript, or JavaScript. So we'll demonstrate that we can see this even when it's obfuscated. So we're going to open up a folder. First thing we're going to do is we have some samples and we are going to right click on Invoke Mimikatz and we're going to edit this. We're going to show you the script and what it's doing. And so what we can tell you, whoops, minimize this. When we look at this and what it's doing, it's actually going to be um, utilizing a technique where it's common among fileless malware where a Word document or PDF, PDF might contain um, scripted commands using trusted utilities such as PowerShell. So, you know, this is actually very common. What PowerShell will then do is stream a script directly to a client, um, never writing it to disk, so it's always in memory and executing in memory. So how do we find that? So that's exactly what this is doing, is it's saying, go ahead and download this and invoke this script and do some things. So let's go ahead and run this script. And we'll notice that the script pops up and it says, hey, it's doing bad things and blocked by endpoint security. So a script was detected as a threat. Uh, we actually click on this and go see what uh, endpoint security is telling us. And let's look in our event log. And you'll see that AMC was what was utilized um, to detect Mimikatz. And it was actually blocked. So it never downloaded a file and put it on the disk. So it wasn't an on-access scan or anything like that. It was actually in memory and we blocked it. Next what we're going to do is we're going to show how we can try and obfuscate um, PowerShell. We're going to encode it so that it can't be detected. Um, so let's go ahead and minimize the screen. We have a new uh, PowerShell that we've created called uh, Mimikatz Convert. And we've converted the sample to create um, an encoded uh, script or a block of text. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this block of text that we just converted over and we're going to copy it. And then next what we're going to do is we are going to uh, encode it. So we type PowerShell ENC for encoding and then we're going to paste our block of text. Uh, we actually want this whole line to be purple so I'm going to do a quick little editing. There we go. So there's a whole text in purple. And then at the end of the line, we are going to click enter. And you'll notice that we have a McAfee event and the script was detected as a threat and blocked, uh, even though it was obfuscated. So uh, let's go ahead and scroll up in the output. And we can see that we see information that uh, there was a lot of errors in it that things were running, it was showing that it was encoded PowerShell that was trying to run, um, and it was blocked because it contained malicious content despite it being an encoded command. So even though we tried to hide it, um, it still showed the bad content. And we can identify uh, good from bad, and even modifying information shows that we can still find it. Now we're going to show how it can differentiate between good and bad, right? So this is a conversion script type of thing. It's going to convert it and encode it. And remember we had this string of text that's in here that was the malicious text for downloading bad content. What we're going to do now is we're going to replace that with something non-malicious. So we're just going to put in there like uh, C colon. Even though it was encoded, it determined it was that good should not and be didn't malicious. Block it. It's not doing anything bad. So it says you're about to run it. We'll say that's fine, and it runs just fine. So let's go ahead and select our text. This is our encoded capability. Remember what we did before? We copied it to the clipboard. PowerShell encode, 
and go ahead and paste it. And when we run it, it runs just fine. There's no issues with it. Now it's not really doing anything, but it's not malicious. So it didn't trigger any events. So you'll see it runs just fine.